Do it. All right. Good morning, everyone. This is our lunchtime prayer today. It's from Owensboro. Peggy and I are at an annual conference, but we still wanted to have a prayer time with everyone, uh, especially two, three folks need our prayers in particular. So we did want to connect in prayer. And we know that it's the Holy Spirit who connects us. If we're not physically present, although we'd, we'd love to be, spiritually connected in the spirit, it, God hears us. I want you all to know that the annual conference sessions have gone very well. The Lord Jesus is guiding. And even uh, Bishop Al Gwynn opened the service yesterday, the conference yesterday, praying that there's just a mysterious way that the Holy Spirit is present. And he was through the day. Yes, and, and we know there's issues that, that could cause some conflict, but they didn't. People are being very cooperative will be very honest and will do as the Lord directs us and the conference leadership has been very appropriate in discussions and presentations on different things uh, on ways of connecting or ways of disaffiliating they've been very open so Peggy and I are real pleased with the way conference is being conducted and the spirit is leading and we'll share more with you on that when we get back but today we just have a brief prayer it won't be as long as normal but I've asked Peggy to open with a word of praise, praising the Lord, and then asking her to thank God that Betty Coop was able to come to church. Peggy, would you pray? Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day that we've got standing here beside this river, Lord. The peace and calmness has been so good, just like Judy Rice told me it was gonna be that she got an answer to prayer for, Lord. Thank you for Betty Coop for being able to come back to church. Lord, that is such a blessing to just be able to get one of our members back, Lord. Thank you for the safe travels. Everything has just gone so good, Lord. And we just thank you for everything you've done for us through Jesus. Now just go with us through the rest of the day and we'll give you the praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 We're going we're gonna to pray for three folks this morning, church. Uh, Gary Conover, uh, Sherry Cheatham has let us know that Gary is battling pancreatic cancer. God, we lift Gary to you for help, for healing, for the power of your healing through his body to destroy cancer and, and bring complete healing to him. Guide his doctors, love him and his family, support them. May they know you're with them. And would you lead Gary in healing? Heal him, Father, through Jesus. And then, Father, we want to agree with Cindy Alexander bringing Chris Anderson to you. In a dump truck accident yesterday, he's been flown to Vanderbilt Hospital in critical condition. And God, we ask you to bring healing to Chris. Guide his medical team. They will know exactly what to do and when to do it. May your spirit keep Chris at peace and his family, would you love them and support them as they're in the waiting room or wondering how Chris is doing? Would your peace come over them and your love? We ask for healing for Chris Anderson. And then Father, we lift up Leslie Murphy to you. Leslie's got COVID and a, a moderate case of it. And we ask you to strengthen her body, use the medicine she's receiving, protect her from it worsening. And would you bring her through it in, in healing? And Father, a quickened healing with no after effects. Uh, we, we, we in agreement ask Peggy and me, plus those gonna, that will pray on the live stream with this. Uh, for, for Gary and for Chris and for Leslie, God, we ask for your healing. And for the whole Trinity congregation and anyone who is participating in this prayer, God, may your blessing come. Strength for today, a thought for today that will be a green light that will we won't be held back. We won't hesitate. We won't be afraid. We'll, we'll do what you want us to do. And then the good things really come. God, again, with Peggy, I bless the conference sessions this morning. Bless our trip home. And bless each Trinity person in ministry today. May the children and the youth have a great time tonight as they're going bowling. We ask your blessing on that, that outing as well. Father, thank you for hearing us. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.